All right. So, uh, I don't ever do this kind of shit. Reviews are not my thing. I'm not a reviewer. I'm a, I'm a douche that streams sometimes. And that's about the extent of my video uh, forte. So, this is something new to me. But I had some people in the chat. Uh, Kevin and Anna, you guys know who you are. I appreciate uh, everything. And you guys watching and giving me the idea that I should do a fucking um, review thing of me just talking shit. I don't have a script. I don't know anything. Uh, I played this game once, as you can see. Uh, right there, there's me playing Code Veronica. I'm wearing almost the same clothes as I am now. I even got the same pants on. That's that's the kind of that's the kind of quality video you're about to watch. So, you know, basically take everything I'm about to say extremely seriously. Uh, this is not a matter of opinion. In fact, this is completely 100% the God's truth, and uh, nothing else. So, uh, if you get offended. Uh, well, uh, that, then maybe you were just meant to be offended. But I'm going to talk some shit about this game. This game, this is, this is a review about Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Now, I played this. I'm just a newcomer to the Resident Evil series. I don't know anything about this fucking series. I, I just started playing it, and it's blowing my ass right now in a good way. Like, this game is so fucking good. Or not the game. Not this game. Not the, what the hell am I talking about? This game is not good. But the series, the franchise is the tits. And um, the thing about Resident Evil, <clears throat> excuse my shitty green screen, I'm literally sitting on my green screen, so it's making shitty effects at the back there. This game really grinded my gears for, for the majority of, of, my, of the playthrough in this, for this particular uh, a stream and, 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 and all the streams of this game beforehand. Why is that? Because... I started with Resident Evil 1, okay? I'm, I'm taking this Resident Evil journey. I start with Resident Evil 1. I get totally hooked. Resident Evil 1 is awesome. I was super stoked about the puzzles. I liked the story. Um, I'm talking about the PS1 Resident Evil 1 right now, too. That shit was the tits. I really liked Resident Evil 1 as a game. It, was, it, it really just drew me in. That's the game that sucked me in. It was like, here you go. Here's some Resident Evil. This is, what this, this, this is what you got to look forward to with the future games. That's basically what Resident Evil 1 told me. And I was like, man, I could totally go for more of this shit. Give me in my mouth right now. Such a great feeling I had playing that game. The atmosphere was just nonstop. I love the zombies. Yeah, the voice acting is legendarily bad. But who cares? That's part of the charm of the game. It was a great game. Resident Evil 2 comes along. Um... I played the shit out of that. I did A scenario with Leon, B scenario with Claire, and I loved every second of it. That French, that, that game was fucking sick. Resident Evil 2 was awesome. Um, Mr. X was a welcome addition. I liked the whole tyrant idea. It's super cool. It was introduced in Resident Evil 1, but was really capitalized on and, and really brought full force with Resident Evil 2. That shit was sick. Uh, and then Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3 was something special. Oh, man. Resident Evil 3 was... Nemesis is probably one of my all-time favorite villains and favorite characters in a video game. Nemesis is so freaking cool. I don't know what to say about Nemesis other than, the, than he's just a badass. And I love Nemesis so freaking much. He's awesome. He is just so sick. Now, uh, the game itself was short, much shorter than the other Resident Evils before it. But honestly, that was kind of part of its fun was it was short, it, it was short and sweet. And it was awesome. Resident Evil 3, the, the atmosphere, going through Raccoon City, the clock tower, the fucking, uh, the sewers in that, in that game, were just, everything was just so fucking perfect. Like, that game was just perfect. And, and, and then, Code Veronica X. That is what most people consider the final um, classic Resident Evil feel that the games have. And it goes off, it, like, it sends 
the players, this game sends the players off and like, instead of a big explosion of, of victory, it's just a big fart of shit. It's trash. This game sucks so bad on so many different levels. And I'm going to go into detail about what, what, what sucks about it. And, you know, I'm not an expert on this review shit. Like I said, I don't have a script. I've never reviewed a damn thing in my life. I'm just talking shit. I'm a streamer who plays games, and I, I really just don't uh, know what I'm doing right now. So just bear with me on this shit. Or get out of the video. I don't care. It's all good. I understand. Uh, man, where do I begin with this fucking game? Let's start with, let's start with the bottom shit. Um, Claire's voice actress sounds like she doesn't really give a shit. She's, all, she's trying, but she doesn't really sound like she gives a shit. That was what made me go, eh. The atmosphere and the environments, not a big fan. I just like immediately, as soon as the game started, you could see my first stream when I first played this game, I was like, what is it? This is kind of weird. This doesn't feel like Resident Evil to me. Um, but it is Resident Evil. It's as Resident Evil as Resident Evil gets, but it's not really Resident Evil. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But... This fucking game, man, just mm, made me so angry because as soon as we got to Steve, Steve was just the, f oh, dude, he's Bitch. That's his name forever, and it's, it should be his name. His name is Bitch. He's just, because he's not just a bitch, he's the bitch. He's like the, the he's the quintessential, mwah. Bitch on a plate. That's what this guy is. He is such a douche on so... The dude tries to kiss Claire while she's unconscious. I don't give a fuck where you came from or who you are. What, what, what kind of mentality you gotta have to fucking try to put the feels on a chick when she's not even fucking able to reciprocate or tell you to fuck off. That made me so mad. On top of that, he's just a, a douche. Like, he's a slimy douche and he's like... Huh, you can't rely on people for anything. Guns are more reliable. <laughs> and then he's like, say, in the same breath, he's like, oh, I bet you were glad that I was here to save you, huh, Claire? It's like, what are you talking, you were just saying you can't rely on humans, you little bitch. What are you talking about? Oh, man, the dude, I hated him so flipping much. He was one of the biggest reasons that I hated this game. As soon as he came into play, as soon as he showed up on screen. No. Now, get him off my screen. Get him out of my Resident Evil. This, this guy is a fucking bitch. I don't care. And then you have that scene where he's got to shoot his dad, who's a zombie now, and he got. And you're supposed to feel something and care about that? I don't give a fuck. Shoot your dad. I wish your dad ate you, you little prick. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Anyways, next character that sucks ass. Ashford. The Ashford twins, which it turns out is just the single dude. Alfred Ashford is a freaking moron, and he's got such a stupid voice, and he's a freaking transvestite who's in love with his sister. What kind of, like, what are you doing with this? I got no problem with transvestites, but if you're in love with your sister, bro, chill, fudge out, man. You can wear her clothes with her permission. But other than that, you need to back the fudge down because there is no, 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 no. Especially in a freaking Resident Evil game. What are you doing? Uh, so I, I just was totally torn out, tur turned off that whole idea of, uh, he was supposed to be the main villain of the story? Are you freaking serious? You want me to fight a dude that loves his sister in a non-sisterly manner, in a non-brother-sister-like way? Are you flipping serious? You trying to, you supposed to make me take this dude seriously? No, man. No. So, um, then you got, you got. Um, just the, just shitty, just shitty, look, look at this environment. Like, I, I picked this stream just randomly. I was like, oh, let's just play this one and, and have this play in the background while we're reviewing this piece of shit. And, uh, this, the environments are just so boring and everything looks so depressing and it's just, the graphics are shit. The, when you shoot zombies in the head with a shotgun, it doesn't decapitate them anymore. You used to decapitate them in the PlayStation 1 days. This is a Dreamcast game. What are you saying? You don't have the technology to de decapitate zombies? Uh, what are you talking about, man? 
and the the, the snatching dudes, the the, the snatch, uh, the go- banter snatch dudes are just like, I don't even know what, what they were thinking with those ones, but they were sh- like shittier looking mini tyrants that that just the, just the, the design is so bad on those freaking things. I, I hate it. Ah, oh, just everything and the the gameplay. Oh my god! I know that Resident Evil is all about finding the thing to get things so you can get into the into the room. So there's the thing that is in that room that you need to go past the mission. But this game is like, okay, you gotta get the thing to put in this thing, and that thing will unlock this door. When you go through that door, there's another thing in that room that you gotta get to go that goes with this other thing that's in the box. In the item box, so you gotta go back to the item box. You gotta put the thing from the item box in the thing you just got from that from that room, and you gotta go over into another room. Guess what? That room is on the other side of the fucking map. So okay, we gotta backtrack to the other side of the fucking map. Now you gotta put the thing in the thing there. Turns out you need three of those fucking things. So you gotta go back and find out where the other two fucking things are. And what? It's just so convoluted and stupid. And there's just so much of put the thing in the other thing to get the thing in this game, compared to the other Resident Evils. Like, is, uh, there's a dude in my in my chat uh, called Bald Man, and he 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 referenced Cole Veronica X as like all the things that re- old Resident Evil games do cranked up to eleven, and he it's it's like mwah. couldn't have put it better myself. That's like perfect because it even cranks the shit up to eleven to it to the point where all you see is shit. This game is just shit. And then, <laughs> and then you got Claire's story ends, and you're like, "Wow, okay, it's sick. I'm getting somewhere." And then you go to Chris, and Chris is more fun than Claire because you got Wesker coming into play. Wesker is is kind of badass. Everybody likes Wesker. I like his voice in this game. He's probably the one good thing about this fucking game. He's got uh, a presence in this game, that he shows up briefly for Claire's story, kicks the shit out of her, right on, dude, hitting a woman, sick. Uh, And then he goes after Chris in his story, and he's like the main villain for Chris, whereas the Ashford twins was the main villain for Claire. So, thank fudge, we're past that whole story with Claire now. Now we're playing as Chris, all right? And Chris, let me see if I can get to the spot where I've started playing as Chris. Here, hold on a second. Where is it now? Yeah, it's right over here. Okay, sick. Let me just get, yeah, right here. Let's just pop that bitch in there. Sick. So here we go. I'm playing as Chris now. So, Chris is more fun than Claire. He's got more health. Uh, he's got access to better weapons. Uh, because, oh shit, I just got spotted there. Yeah, well, that, that sucked. I wasn't trying to do that. It was just, I'm, I wasn't quite used to the tank controls. Four games in. Still not totally used to the tank controls. Biggest problem with this game is that it's the first example of the... Not the biggest problem. Not, not the biggest problem whatsoever, actually. It's just the... It's a small problem. It's the first example of this game fucking uh, changing the controls of what you're used to from previous Resident Evils. Every Resident Evil before this had the same controls for the same shit. You, you get to this game... Uh, R, uh, R1 is aim, square is shoot, X is run, and it's square is run, X is shoot in the old games. So I'm trying to get used to that shit while I'm trying to get used to the fucking uh, uh, um, tank controls as well. Because like I said, I'm a newcomer with the Resident Evil franchise. But I've gotten pretty far into the franchise now myself. I'm, uh, I'm doing a Resident Evil Zero playthrough as this video is being made. I'm almost done Resident Evil Zero. Really enjoying that one, actually, to be honest. That game gets a lot of shit compared to this fucking game. But people seem to get that, get those two mixed up. Resident Evil Zero is a genuinely good Resident Evil game, in my opinion. Resident Evil Co. Veronica X can suck my hairy balls. This game is trash. So we get into Chris. Now we're going into a little bit more fun territory, like I said. The only thing with this is... Um, things are starting to get amped up when it comes to difficulty. So you notice the shit's going down a little harder than it did with Claire. You're seeing more hunters. You got those cameras that you saw. I just got spotted with there. That's a bit of a of a of a of a, of a problem. Uh, they're easy to get past, but if you, like I said, if you're a scrub like me, this game's pretty punishing. Even on easy difficulty, this game's pretty brutal. So 
I get to this part. All right, I get to this part. Let me just get over to here. Let me get over right here. Uh, I'm actually glad I picked this video because I this is where I, I got pissed off. So okay, that was beautiful, beautiful spot to pick. I didn't even I didn't even do that on purpose. So I just saved, as you saw there. I just saved. And you can see by my body language and how everything is going on the, on the right side there that I'm getting pissed off, okay? I'm getting legit frustrated. I can even turn up the volume and tell you what I'm saying right now. And you can get, oh, see, look at that shit. <laughs> so I got, okay, I'm at this spot with the hunters, all right? Just turn this up real quick so you can hear I got just a pistol. Am I able to kill that hunter with just a pistol? Because I need these two acid rounds for those other two hunters upstairs. Fuck, dude. I probably can't kill him with just a pistol, I bet. I, I, bet. I gotta get a shotgun. I'll change my... Change that to my shotgun. This pistol is gonna get fucking out of my inventory soon. So, okay. You can clearly tell I'm getting pissed. Um, I get to a spot where... So I'm totally fucked on health. What I was trying to do, the, the idea here was I'm going to save it while I still have ink ribbons because I was running deathly low on ink ribbons at the time. This hunter pissed me off, but he didn't screw me over too hard. Uh, see, As you can see, I got one ink ribbon left that I forgot to put back in the box because I'm an idiot. <clears throat> And there I die. And I'm pissed off. <laughs> so whatever. It is what it is. It's a, it's a hard game. That's not, the, that's not the problem, though. I save here. Um, once I'm past that, hu that hunter over there. And the biggest problem that I've run into with any of these games, I meet, I come face to face with this bitch. And, and see, the, oh, God. This freaking game pissed me off so much. So I, I beat that hunter, as you saw there. Finally got past him. I got no health. I got mm, pretty much no grenade ammo. Nothing like that. I've used up all my resources because I'm brand new at this game and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And yeah, there's a chat room helping me out, but they, they can only do so much. You know, they're, they're, not, they're not playing the game for me. Otherwise, they'd be doing a lot better than me. But I get soft locked in this spot right here after I save... Once I pass this bridge, I think I go back over there and I save. And I'm in rough shape right now, mentally and physically in the game. Uh, I'm just getting pissed. And so this was the icing on the cake. I'm going to be real here. I was not a big fan of this game before this spot. Obviously, I just listed all the things I hated about Code Veronica. And those still stand. And that, that was turning me off the game from the very beginning. From the get-go, I was not a fan. Uh, so I think this is where I save, and this is where I fuck myself, pretty sure. Uh, yep, I grab the ink ribbon. Yep, there we go. Like a moron. I have a shotgun. I got no... <laughs> I got nothing. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Oh, fuck. So I didn't know that it, by saving here with no health... It was going to soft lock me in a spot in the game where you cannot get past it. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing I can do now besides, because I kept overwriting my save file, there's nothing I can do at this point besides restart the game entirely. And that's a huge design flaw, in my opinion, in any game that does that, where it punishes the player unbeknownst to them at all that they're not, just because they saved in one spot to try to be as smart, uh, it, it punishes them by soft locking the game. So I'm at this section. I'm in fucking danger. I got nothing. This hunter just owns me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm getting fucking irritated. Oh, man, I suck ass. Get out of here. Don't play this fucking game, man. Turn this shit off. So... Uh, yeah, this is funny. So uh, I go up there to do it again, and I'm I'm just stuck. I'm just stuck with this part with this fucking hunter, man. So 
Anyways, bottom line is I can't progress any further. So guess what I did? I stopped. I, I quit playing the game because I didn't want to do it anymore. I would have I gladly restarted if I enjoyed this game beforehand. But this game had so many shit problems that I just was not willing to overlook. And see, I did. There you go again. Nothing I can do about that. I can't move because I can't run. I can't maneuver around them. I, I don't have a, a strong enough weapon to kill these pricks with. I got a shotgun. I got an AK-47. And that's it. I'm fucked. I don't have any more grenade rounds. I got no health wares. I'm shit SOL at this point. So, uh, yeah. And this is the only route I can take. This is the only route I'm able to take. That's it. So I just said, um, enough's enough. I'm done with this fucking game. Uh, I, I, I could really just, uh, you know, I'm going to move on to something else. So I ended up stopping this game and switching to Resident Evil 4, and that was a much better game. Uh, I enjoyed Resident Evil 4 quite a bit. I was pretty excited about that one. Uh, but, you know, like a as you can see there, I've even got, uh, flame rounds for the bow, which I don't have. I don't have a freaking crossbow because I haven't met Claire yet in this part of the game. So, uh, she, I, I think you get the crossbow from her, don't you? So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of just after the A right now. So I just repeat the process and then I get pissed off and I shut her down. But the point is, is you shouldn't be able to pun it, to just for no reason, I didn't know I was doing this to myself when I saved there. I did not know. So, oh, I almost got him there. <laughs> I'm so mad. Uh, I did not know that uh, I, was, I was screwing myself by saving there. I thought I was being smart. So the fact that the game has the potential to do that to a newcomer player is a pretty huge detriment on the game itself. I was not impressed with that to be honest i'm uh i've played a lot of games in my in my time uh, uh and i really don't see too many games like that that just fuck the player over for no reason just because he's a new player and doesn't know what he's doing so you save at the wrong time and all of a sudden you get screwed for it Nah, man that sucks especially when i was this far into the game if you're if you're a new player this is like nine hours into the game for me, probably an hour and a half for some people, but nine hours in the game for me. And I did not want to do all that shit all over again. Because I didn't even enjoy it when I did it the first time. There's no fucking way I would have enjoyed it the second time through. So, this has been my rant and review on Resident Evil Co. Veronica X, a game I did not even finish that I'm reviewing because fuck this game. This game's trash. And I don't recommend this to anybody. In the Resident Evil community, it's one of the worst games I've ever played. Maybe the worst game I've ever played. Uh, everything from the atmosphere to the characters to the graphics to the story to the bad mechanics like what you're witnessing here right now. Um, just fucking sucks. It's just so bad. And the reason it's so bad is because of the contrast you have to compare it to such amazing games like Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 4. Fuck, even Resident Evil 5 shits all over this game, man. Resident Evil 5, I had a blast of that game. I just finished streaming that before, uh, not too long ago. I was doing some co-op streams of that game. Resident Evil 5 is very underrated. This game, I've seen uh, above Resident Evil 5 in some people's ranking lists for Resident Evil series the main storylines, anyway, the, main, the main titles anyways, this game's above Resident Evil 5 sometimes. I can't, be I can't believe how anybody would, 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 would do that. That you're shitting on a, a good game and, and, and uplifting a trash game. See, I even tried a new tactic that time with the... With the <laughs> oh, man, there's nothing I could do here. There's just nothing I could do. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was bad, dude. That was trash. This felt... I even remember how I felt during this time. <laughs> I was struggling so hard not to throw my fucking controller against the wall. <laughs> oh, man. 
This is tough. This is a rough go for me. But, um, yeah. All in all, Resident Evil franchise, top fucking notch. Love the franchise for what I've played so far. I've played quite a few games in the franchise at this point. I've streamed them all on my channel. And uh, I really enjoyed every playthrough I've gotten. Uh, I've gotten through, except for this piece of shit. Don't play this game. It's trash. Play something better, because there's way better things you could be doing with your time. Fucking, you feel like playing Cove Veronica? No, no, no. Just go, just go rub one out. See how you feel after that. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Uh, fucking, maybe I should rate this game. Should I come up with a rating list on the spot? Um, all right. I'll give it, uh, 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 shit out of 10. I don't fucking know. <laughs>